Help me! My chat put me in a cave! That literally took me no more than five minutes to set up and I'm gonna walk through exactly how to do it here now. Let's go! There's a few things you're gonna need to get something like this working. Number one, you're gonna need the Stream Effects plugin. You're also gonna need StreamerBot 1.8 as that has the voice mod integration. There are some other things as well that's gonna make this a bit easier for you to set up but there are ways around it and you can use separate plugins to let's say make your camera black and white with some color correction or anything like that entirely up to you everything that i use is going to be down in the description down below and also on our tutorial on the gazelle website but first things first we're going to have to start making what we need in obs first so let's jump over there and take a look so because we have obs open here we have to open up a second obs so i can show you this correctly that way i won't actually be able to use my camera so we're just going to use this image of myself instead. First step you're going to want to do is right click and add a new scene. We're going to call this cave. I'm going to call mine cave 2 because I already have one made. Now with your new cave scene, if you go down to sources, you want to right click, add, and you want to have a source mirror. This is why we needed stream effects. With source mirror, it basically allows you to duplicate any scene or any source that you'd like and apply separate effects onto that. So our black and white filter, for example, won't affect us on any other scene. So when I add that, and we can call this cave cam. Here then, because my camera is in a nested scene, I'm just gonna choose the scene itself, but you can just choose your camera source if you like. So here we have our cam scene, and this is exactly what it's in it now. So when I go into cam scene, for example, this is what's here, and it's also what's the same is what's here now. From here, if we right click and go to filters, press the plus button, and we're going to do some color correction. From here then, you wanna turn the saturation the whole way down, then you can start playing with like the brightness and stuff like that too if you just want to get that proper kind of shade. Those settings look good to me but again it kind of does depend on your webcam. Once you're done that then feel free to put it into whatever position that you want. Let's say we're going to be standing right here. If you head over to the Gazelle article that's linked down below there's going to be some downloads for you to do and that's mainly going to be to get the smoke and to get the picture background. Now, I do not own these images. You can use any different assets that you'd like, but if you want to use the same ones that I'm using, those are gonna be there. So what you wanna do is right click, add an image. We can just call this cave image. Browse and then go to where you have this file saved. For example, here's my cave image. We're just gonna make it big to make it fit. And we're gonna put my image on top of it. Go and do basically the same thing with the smoke. So because the smoke is a video, we're gonna do a media source. We can just call this smoke and we're going to make that loop. So here we have our smoke and as you can tell, it's not transparent, right? So because it has a black background, we can actually do something about that. So if you go to your smoke video, right click and go to filters under the effect filters here, you go to add, then we can add a color key. From here, then we want to set the custom color and set it to black. So here we kind of have it like this. We can play with this a little bit. If you want to just make it a bit less rich, do something like that. You can turn up and down the smoothness. I think something like that actually looks quite good. So here we have it. Obviously, I also had some voice modulation going on and that was thanks to voice mod. And with StreamerBot 1.8, you can now have direct integration with voice mod and StreamerBot. It's quite simple to set up and the import string is down below inside the Gazelle article. So everything here is pretty much set for you already once you import this in. Now, the voice mod settings may depend on what way you have voice mod set. It can depend. Sometimes you might get some duplicating audio. For example, my OBS is using the direct input from voice mod, but I like to be able to hear myself and there's an effect happening too. But depending on where that output is, you might actually hear yourself twice back in stream, which nobody wants. So I would just be careful about that and tinker with this how you see fit. The way I avoid this, for example, is is I have it set to an audio output that never actually touches OBS. So that way then they never actually get to hear the duplicate. The only thing you might need to change here is just the names inside of OBS. So if you called your cave something different, just double click on that, rename it to select whatever it is. We have this built in such a way that it's automatically gonna go back to whatever scene that you were on previously. You can also see this delay here. You can modify that depending on exactly whatever it is you're doing. Because I know my video file is actually only nine seconds long, I'm gonna change that so the loop doesn't come back weird. Let's change that to 9,000 milliseconds, for example, is nine seconds. Now we're pretty much ready to test. There is some extra steps if you're gonna be using this with the YTC or YouTube channel rewards extension, but we'll go over that as well. For the most part, if you're on Twitch, what you gonna do is head over to platforms head over to Twitch, 
YouTube channel rewards. From here then, you wanna create a new reward, call it whatever you want, set the price, everything like that. You just gotta make sure that the action is your new cave one that you just imported. And if you do want to use this with the YTCR, make sure you add it to the YTCR group. If you don't have one already, you can create it here. Once you press save, you're all ready to go. So here now, imagine you're gaming away here, you're streaming, you're having a good time. Next thing you know, someone gets 1500 points or whatever you set it to. And bish bash bosh, now we're in a cave. We're in a cave. A cave, you see? A whore. <laughs> And it should last nine seconds and there we go straight back to where we were super super easy to set up i honestly couldn't have made it easier for you <laughs> again i haven't been able to find a reliable plugin to be able to export specific obs scenes if anyone knows one that i can make this a bit easier for you guys please let me know down in the comments below i'd really appreciate it thanks so much for watching do not forget to like subscribe and all that good stuff and we will see you in the next video Bye.